Oh, here we go. And before we go in there, <laughs> let me get one of these miracle tonic things because I am going to need this. Let's, um, oh, well, tell you what, first off, let's just do a chewing tobacco thing. Where's the chewing tobacco? Mm, don't want to damage anything. I was going to get my, oh, it doesn't matter. I can't find the stuff anyway. Uh, let's just take a tonic. That'll do. Hey, out of the road. I want to get really nice and close. Back the hell away. Put them down. Hang on, hang on. I want both of them. Right, so we're going to go. No, we're not. We're not. Oh, balls. That's. And no, I don't. Oh, I want to shoot his gun out of the hand. No. Oh well. Did we get the gun as well? Too late. No, it all moved. It didn't work. It didn't work, damn it. I should have been using a carbine, I think. It would have been much more effective. Well, we, we've robbed them that way, and that's fine. <laughs> well, I guess. Nobody saw a thing, right? Don't be sorry. Thing. Assassin's Creed Syndicate still free to claim on the Epic Game Store. A lot of people don't like the Epic Game Store, and I've got to say, as a store, it's um, could be a lot better. Uh, and as a company, they could be more ethical. But you know, free games, I think, are not to be passed up. Am I losing honor for all these? No, that's okay then. 60 cents. Silver emblem ring. Shot, all right. right, let's take my mask off. Let's get you home. Come on, Findus. Let's go. Yep. So, oh, I've got a nice supply here. So I think, yeah, it's not far to go. <laughs> Whether it's all intact by the time we get home, it doesn't matter. I like the way how uh, the whole thing's rattling. All them bottles are rattling together. It's like thunder down. Whoa! Don't want to have a collision. He says, getting on the train track. That's quite amusing, actually, if the train was coming. Hang on, let's, let's do this. This sounds awesome. Oh no, there's somebody in the way! Joe! I got your moonshine! <laughs> You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! Thank you very much. You got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Andrew Bell. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. I... Oh, so, hmm. so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Um. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? <laughs> As well as anyone. <laughs> Wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could, could you do that? Hmm? Really? Uh, I mean, this this sounds like I've just helped him invent something that Arthur is one day going to be sat in himself. Uh, I don't think this was a good idea. 
I thought it was going to be for some sort of engine, or like an automobile or something. What's that? Brother Dawkins. Brother Dawkins needs to speak with you. Oh, okay. But first off, we better go and see the police. Who's that? The mercies of knowledge. Convince the police chief. Okay, so what's this one then? Charles Chatterney. Is he the, uh, he's, he's the porn man, magazine man, right? I think. So this is the one I want to go to. Right. You fail to understand how the electric chair is more humane than hanging? I don't know. I don't have a lot of knowledge on the electric chair. I would not like to sit in one. Will you move? My own experience of electricity when it goes wrong is that it is not entirely painless. So I don't know. Got pigs, pigs in the streets. What sort of town is this, damn it? Can we put a pig in the electric chair? As a test, of course. Hey, Dougie, how's it going? It's art? You think he would call it art? Hello, call me out. It's, um. Well, you know, there's a fine line between art and porn in 1899. <laughs> um. Oh Arthur. god damn, I'm busy. Up here. You came. Here. Yeah. Oh, I'd forgotten okay. about this. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. What do you want? Get the hell out of here. This is Mary, right? Came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even <laughs> thought. <laughs> it's, it's off. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than. Then, then me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Yeah. Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. <laughs> Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Ooh, huh? Is didn't that your life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. Be kind to everyone, folks. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. Uh, Gotta be good for something, right? It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> yes, I've got to help her. Come along. I've got to save my soul in this game. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other, other things. things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse I know district it. near the train yard. Come on, then. We're going Don't straight be there? A pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Yeah, you should. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. 
But... Well... I don't know. She's having regrets now. And she sees me on my fine black stallion. Okay, let's go. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some Going old the nag. Wrong way. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. So my suggestion. Wasn't always this way. But is that we knock him out and drop him in the river. Worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Out the way, out the way. That's my old horse there. Come on. Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. Okay. This is the place. Hmm. This is going to have an outcome which I'm... Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. I'm going to get into more trouble for this, aren't I? Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is he got a hole in his hat? Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. It's a patch, okay. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> But if you continue <laughs> to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. <laughs> oh, my right I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. You know, what an outfit. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. You know that top Damn hat? Nuisance. I think it needs shooting off. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Yeah, let's okay. follow him. Follow Mr. Gillis. Wait, is her name... Her name's, her name's not Gillis, is it? This way. He looks a little lame Arthur. or drunk. Drop back a bit or he'll see you. Can I tomahawk his hat off? He went around the corner. Yeah, I can see him. I know he went around the corner. What's he up to? Going to um, the pencil factory? Hold up. Arthur, drop back a bit or he'll see Doesn't you. Doesn't look too well. You have a feeling this is going to go very trail. badly. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. That sentient barrel on legs with a top hat. You think it looked better with a few holes in it? Where's he gone? Did he go in there? Come here, <laughs> quick. Oh. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Oh, Do you awkward think he us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? <laughs> I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's in a bad mood about something. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. Could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress <laughs> anyone. To be fair, I was planning on going and, and putting the man in an electric chair. I wasn't planning on coming and see, seeing a lady. He just went left down that alleyway. I know, I saw. What's he doing? Let's go find out. That? Staves, Beaumont, heading, Staves, heading. I never show you a good time. 
I'm just glad you're here. What is he up to? What is this place? Secret gambling club? Back door to the Blue Oyster Club? Checking his watch? What's he doing? What do you think nope. he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Here's the money. <laughs> mm. That is beautiful. This family is an asshole. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've used to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. Ooh. You sold my mother's brooch? What's going on with that How dress? could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could it's you? It's him. Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. <laughs> don't hurt anyone? I don't think so. Um, hang on. Which way am I supposed to go? Oh, I see. Back around the front. Hey, you, Ashton. Hold her right there. Ah, is that my horse? God damn it. It ain't my horse. Hey, stop that coach. I could have jumped on the horse. I think I might have got into trouble though. Come on, where's my horse? There. Oh, don't, don't, don't move. Don't, you know, don't, don't trouble yourself, Findus. It's not like we have a coach to catch or anything. Okay, now we're back on it. Assuming this is still the right coach. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. Get back here. He's making a fast getaway, isn't he? Okay, I think I'm going to have to draw a level with it and jump aboard. <laughs> they don't plan on stopping, do they? Come on, Findus, you can do this. Which way? Which way? Oh, we'll head him off at the pass. Right. Ah! Damn it, that thing is fast! Hang on, jump to the wagon. What the hell? Okay. Can we Come on. Get off, just get off. Drive to a secluded spot. I'm just going to go park it in the middle of that river, though. This is secluded. <laughs> no, I knew it was going to do that. I just I just wanted to see what it would look like. <laughs> hey, Captain Mikado. Nice to see you. How's things? Yeah, you were right. This, this did end well. Oh, it's back here? Okay. Horses in the Old West don't respond to calls as easy as they do in ancient do Greece. Well, well, I've nearly driven into the swamp again. We seem to have a bit of a lean on here. Yep. Yeah, that one you doesn't respond to the so well. My previous one did. But maybe, maybe that's because I haven't um, built up enough of a rapport with, uh, with Finn You're just making yet. A big I've made several, and I'll probably make several more. Oh, that doesn't work out here, friends. Right then. Pull out. out Pull out. This is where we give him a right good Leave hiding. Me Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. Give me I back then. Brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? No. I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Try again. Hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. 
I'm a reasonable man. Let's say five. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. I I go five. <laughs> Take the damn yes. thing. Yes. There you go. Took him twenty-five Crazy cents. Son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't have any any qualms about upsetting that guy or worrying about the comeback from it either. Uh, Tedra Kagan, and I never get your name right. I know I don't, but nice to see you. All right, Mark, dad joke. Why did the baker have dirty hands? Because he needed a poo. He needed a poo. Ooh, that's uh, some nice imagery right there. Thank you for that. How's it going anyway? Nice to see you again. Uh, do we have to go? We, do we have to go back via this? I think we do. Oh, okay. We're gonna go cutscene. That's fine then. You got the timeout hammer at the ready. That wasn't quite such a bad enough joke for that. <laughs> Enjoying Red Dead 2? Yes, I am absolutely loving it. Um, as anyone who's watched me all the way through will know, I didn't enjoy the tutorial very much because it dragged on, it was slow, it was on rails, and it was very sort of downbeat compared to the rest of the game, which I absolutely fun? loved. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. I want to take a walk. I reckon her father's going to end up dead take now to the because of my actions I Thank took there. You. That's what I predict. How many hours? 60, I think. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. Yeah, it'd be about 60 hours in, I think. I won't ask. Probably best not. I enjoyed that, getting that brooch back. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> You'll buy me dinner. Well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to the theater, perhaps. The theater? Sure. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. It'll be fun. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. <laughs> I can't seem to get a grip on it. You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot, but you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman. I still got my bandits try to thing around my neck. In your brainless life. My neckerchief. You're not a very nice woman. Mrs. Well, See you, Pedro. Company I keep. I know it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> well, this looks very oh, grand for Arthur. Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. It was this the one I came to before, where I shot a man in the bollocks. How about here on the right. Sure. After you. It looks like it. And what show we're going to get this time then? <laughs> In the back row, I notice. Should I just get up and leave? Welcome! Oh no. <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a the rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement Go of your away. curiosity. Fire! 
snakes and magic. Have we seen I this? I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. I would now, ladies argue and with that. gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. No, I don't think it's the same act as the previous show that I went to see. Nope. Oh, wait. She does look familiar. She sang, what did she sing? Ragtown. Ragtime girl or something? Ragtime. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Dani. Oh, okay. Let's see what this is like anyway. Pretty good, you gotta you gotta admit it's pretty good. Hang on. I think a cheer. I can't cheer. I can't cheer. I left it too late. That was good. I do love it when uh, game developers put extra things like that into games that they, they don't need to. Um, but it's like when they go to the effort. That was good. For a sec, you thought it's that awful opera singer you ripped off with that charlatan magician. Oh, yeah. Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you. You, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play oh. with fun. Oh, or hang to on. spend time in the company of strange women. Is this, uh... You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. This is a fire breather. Shall we try and get her to set the audience on fire? Stop it. Oh, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. Look but, at that. Will it upset um, Mrs. here? Not giving me the option now. Oh. Get off. Hang on. I'm going to try and antagonize as much as I can. Don't upset the Mrs. or the Miss. That's quite a dance, actually. Is she a fire breather? You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. <laughs> no matter how nice you ask, we ain't kissing. I want to see this go horribly wrong. I want to see this place burn to the ground. Come on. Come on. How much can I antagonize her? 
Maybe she's not the fire breather then. Oh, now it says breathes fire in the background. Doesn't... I'm trying to think if she looks the same as the one I saw before, but... This is more like a belly dancer. Come on. She set fire to a guy's hat last time. And I want to see if I can get a... Full-on audience combustion. Come on. Huckster? What does that mean? Like a hustler? Fraudster? Do something better. Come on. How many more insults can I get in? Worst show ever. You just want to do an insult like that and hear someone shout back, Look okay, boomer. You cheered the whole thing? Yeah, I I would, but someone told me that if you antagonize her enough, she sets the audience on fire, or someone on fire. So I want to see if this is a thing. <laughs> you stink. Here we go, here we go. She's, she, she, is she getting to the end of the act? No? Near that curtain? Come on, can I antagonize? Antagonized, it's gone now. Oh, is my option gone? 